Hello, this is the Balkan Architect and today I will teach you how to create a beam system in Revit. So, here we have a grid system and when we zoom in you can see I've already put in some columns and some structural beams. But we only have beams going in this direction connecting the columns. Now, we need to have some beams going in this direction because there's too much space in between. And we can do this in two ways. We can either go to beam and then do each one manually, but this is not really efficient. So we need to create a beam system. You go here and you see this is beam system tool. The shortcut is BS for bullshit. And now we start this command. We go to rectangle and we need to create boundary around our beam system. Now I'm gonna come here and I'm purposely going to miss the edge. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Now I'm gonna hit escape, go into this align tool. Now I'm going to align it with this edge here. You can tab if you can't find it. Just hit the tab key and you lock it in. Do the same thing here. Align, lock it in. Again, come here. Can't find it. Tab, tab, tab. Find it. Align it. Find this one. Align it. Lock it. Now, once we've locked everything in place, only thing we need to do is to create this beam direction. This is beam direction. When you hit it, you can create it as a line. Now you can see these two lines, that means beam direction is going this way. That is wrong. We need to create it going this way. So I create this line, beam direction, and I hit this green tracking point, and we have our beam system. We've got some nice beam tags, but then when we go into 3D, we find problem. When I zoom in, you can see this beam is going through this beam. And that is wrong. You can't do this. So we need to elevate this beam above. How do we do that? We go to properties menu, ta properties tab, and we find here, we find beam type. We open it up and we see this is universal beam UB305. That means this is 30.5 centimeters high beam. So we go here to elevation and we write 30.5 and we go apply and you see now this beam is above this beam. Now it all looks good but we need to have some nice 3D view for the thumbnail so I go back to level 1. I go here, I pick camera, I place camera. Now we're just gonna set the target elevation to a thousand, so we're kind of looking up. There you go. This looks like a nice beam system, maybe extend it a little bit. And we put it to fine and we go ray trace. And there you go. That's the simple way to create a beam system in Revit. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos.